Yes, yes. We started? Are we on the camera? Yeah, okay. yeah right. Yeah. Yes, because mm -hmm. we were talking about um, why, mm -hmm. why we went back to the war and Stalingrad in particular. Yes, it's a good question. Um, the first first thing I think is to make, sh make a point about the um, the work I was doing, you know, that that was on the Buckley theme, mm. and that occupied me for quite some months, mm. painting after painting and painting on that. Well, in a sense, you know, that I, I brought that to a conclusion. And when you do that, you come to a point, what then do you do? Mm. And uh, I wasn't certain about subject matter or about content, because content for me is very, very important indeed. That is to say, what the painting actually does say. And I came across a book on Stalingrad, and I kept, my mind kept going back to the war. I thought, should I go back to that, what I knew of it, which wasn't all that much, Normandy and so on. I thought, no, it doesn't seem right. And I picked up a book on Stalingrad, read it through. And um, what came, what I got from that was the feeling that Stalingrad was an enormously important event. It stopped Nazis. And to a certain extent, it also began the destruction of, of, um, of communism. So they're the two great forces in the century, Nazism and communism, where they're like two titans to grips of one another. And that seemed to me something I could work on. So what happened in the first painting, first studies, this is not quite the first one, but I'll show you the first two preliminaries mm. of all, is what to do. So I decided the thing use a block of dark straight across the board and to concentrate almost exclusively on a black and white or what appears as a black and white imagery. So there's a mass across the board, like this, a mass across the surface, let me put it like that, and something else at the top. Now you have to look at it a moment, and if you do, I think, little by little, you begin to get the indication of figures in there. Do you find that? Mm -hmm. yeah, Do you find that? But like a mass of, of figures. A mass, exactly it's, right. They're not uh, individualized. Yes, quite right. You see, what happens with what happened to Stalingrad and what happened in the, the whole of the East Front when mm. they, 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 is that they went in in great mass. The Germans went in massed attack, a massed assault, mm. right the way that drove them deep into Russia. It drove them right up to the Don, past the Don River, and straight across toward the uh, um, toward the Volga. Mm. Now Stalingrad stands on the Volga River, on the farther side of the Volga River. So there's this immense mass of action moving forward. Tanks, men, and they were going at a very great pace. And the Russians were just falling to pieces everywhere. So I'd say that painting had to do with that. It's the mass of action and force mm. coming forward, or in this case, like directed across the sea. But you notice one thing, as with all other of my works, and with all the ones you look at, is that the work is never composed within a frame. It no, always extends beyond the frame. Yeah. Now, I would like to have done these very, very much bigger. Mm. But I couldn't, so I, uh, because of space. I decided the only thing I could do would be break it up mm. into a number of boards, roughly speaking, the same size. Now, if you take that, what I'll show you next, if you like. Yes, how do we it, do that? Yep. Do we... Uh, we'll put one, or, put one or two in front of that, and then we'll have to move them down. Like yes. That. Mm -hmm. So let me look, just look at one or two of the preliminary works that were done, which were... That is this one here, I think, would count. No, I'm sorry, it's this one. Look at this. Uh, it's oh. wrong, it's uh, we're at great difficulty in this tiny space. Let's right? do the best we can. That I think may well have been the initial initial painting, the first first uh, start before I I had worked out exactly what had to happen. Is that okay, Eric? Okay. 
Uh, now looking again, I think you'll see some traces of the uh, bucket in that. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what we've done on this one was a very coarse brush. The surface soaking wet. I dipped the coarse brush straight into black paint and just swooped it straight across the surface like that. Now you'll see this movement, this movement this way, always on almost all of these works. I think what you'll see in that, as you say, some, or as I say rather, some traces of the, the bucket. I mean, if, you, if I asked you to pick it out, could you? how would you look at it? You pick out figures here? Motion figures, yes, no? Well, yes, there's mm -hmm. something here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's also something yes. in the movement over there. Yes, there's a movement down this way. Yeah. You're, you're moving that uh, uh, a design thing you do. That's right. I was moving, moving the forms up and down the surface like this. And as you see from this, where the paint drips and drops on, it's all right. I just did that so crudely and coarsely because I wanted to break any idea of having a painting, of being able to do what I was going to do, because mm. you cannot. Yeah, so that was the initial You just change. let the brush, and you the let your hand the brush, you let just let go. Mm. And having in mind only one thing, this is a massive movement across the surface, as you see it there, you take a coarse brush, and then you simply pick up the brush, and you go straight to the surface and put it on. You don't ask yourself what you're doing precisely or complete at that moment. You mm. just make your first broad gestures, and that is what that is for. Mm. Now from that one um, came... I think a second one. Yes, this one. Mm -hmm. This was the second one. Once again, I do the same thing. What I'm doing with them at this stage... Is that okay, Eric? Okay. What I'm doing with them at this stage is feeling how form, how figures or form would develop. I cannot be yet sure what's going to happen. So I'm still leaving everything very loose and designing across the surface. The black and white motives you see is dominant. Mm. I don't know that there's very much detail I can point to any of these. I think no. the, the camera has to look at them and, and take them in. Um, if I ask you what's going on, it would be a real unreasonable question because it's, it's not very Yes, they're your later ones, then you can clearly see The later see ones this will begin to clarify because I have to clarify what I'm doing now. It may take me three, four, or five paintings before I actually know what's happening. Mm. On the, 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 with painting, the painting must talk back to you. But it won't necessarily do that on your first effort. Mm. If I had just set out and painted what I thought should be there, all I would be doing would be picking up much the same theme that I already developed in the bucket. So I've got to break that. So these are what you might call breaking actions. Mm -hmm. Now this one. Let's hope all these hang together up there. That's the fourth one. Yep, this is the fourth one. You can take that one. This maybe? one is when I begin to be a little bit more careful. Uh -huh. Begin to develop toward the figure, yeah. uh, or rather figures. Now, what what I ask myself when I'm working like that is, what does it look like? A mass of men advancing, or just a mass of men advancing. What does it, what does it look like? And I have no idea. So I work, let the, the paint talk back to me a little bit. And I find a need to put these spiky forms across. You see them here? One, two, three, mm -hmm. these lines are sort of like these spiky forms. And always because I make a, a very definite point of connecting down, base, top, like that. There's this line here. Now again, Margaret, I throw the ball back to you. What do you find here? Well, this is certainly very different from... Um, mm -hmm. Yes, it's like mm. you, a, a total mm. break. Now the new comes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, comes mm -hmm. in. Well, that was in effect what it was. What it was, mm. which is to break first of all, to break with the with what what I had already done. Mm. Now I think in a moment we'll have to uh, just about get one more up there. But what I at this point did. Uh, 
film of a van trying to smoke a cigarette. Uh, it's, uh, because it's very, there's just no. now on television no. a rerun of a series from the war, you, you see. You find it very different, different in a sense, and yet, or do you? Uh, no, I'm thinking something. that because no. you didn't know that there was a rerun no, no. on television, no, and, and yet no, no, you're, no. you're painting the very same theme. Uh, because I think that Stalingrad has suddenly become enormously important. Do you notice yes. when, we're, when we're in Norway? Yeah. We saw on, on one occasion uh, a, a whole magazine with that one word Stalingrad across it. I had no uh, idea yeah, that yeah. was coming on. But, no, no. But uh, one senses that things are happening in a certain direction. And I had a strong sense that Stalingrad has become important. Now, there are many, many reasons one might give for that, but never mind that for the time mm. being. Yes, and it Russia be, in, uh, in the media be, as yes, well. Yes, it seemed to me to be about this present moment. Mm. And that is why, why I think it had the impact, or rather why it had the impulse, why it had the impulse to do it. Yeah. You, you must be about, in some ways, while, while you know, my, my, as I often say, art is never contemporary. Mm. It's never about a time, it's always against the time. But yet, in a certain sense, you have to pick up the ideas that are in the time and then yeah. act upon them. Yes, and particularly now with the yeah. uh, tragedy of the uh, submarine. Well, there Certainly again, that's another... Tra yes, uh, and exactly. Focus. And Murray is a good point, because the things which don't appear at first glance to be relevant are, in fact, always very, very relevant mm. indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm so do you need to move these away? Would you like to cut them in a the dark or what? Or, or, or freeze everything? We'll have to ship some of these out. And, uh